This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. RD 180 ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the fourth mobile user objective system mission for the United States Navy. MUO significantly enhances communications for U.S. forces on the move. You're now hearing the voice of Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. Let's listen in for mission progress. Rural program is complete. SRB chamber pressures have plateaued. Mach 1. And booster has throttled back up, right on schedule. Engine response looks good. Pump speeds are good. Injector pressures are as good as well. Max Q. Body rates look good. Throttle setting. Response looks good. And we have begun to throttle down. Engine response looks good as well. SRB chamber pressures looking good. Looking for a burn burnout momentarily. And we have SRB burnout. And booster has now throttled to maintain a 2.5G throttle in preparation for payload for jettison. Coming up on SRB jettison. And we've jettisoned 1, 2, and all five solids. Looks like a good separation. Now find Q Alpha Limited steering. Vehicle rates look good. RD-180 continues to perform well. Closed loop steering has been enabled. Body rates continue to look good. Current altitude is 41 miles. Downrange distance, 58 miles. Current velocity, 4,992 miles per hour. RD-180 continues to perform well, pump speeds and general well, pressures Well, what an incredible good. sight out here on the Space Coast. An Body Atlas V rocket uh, kind of makes an Close early morning sunrise of well. sorts for us here on the Space Coast, and that is quite the impressive early morning sight out here. Uh, quite visually spectacular. That satellite weighs uh, 15,000 pounds, so that's why we got five boosters on this Atlas V rocket, creating two and a half million pounds of thrust at liftoff, so uh, quite the popular launch. It is quite the amazing sight this morning, in fact. Now, uh, this satellite uh, will go 22,000 miles above Earth into geosynchronous orbit where it will join the three other MUOS satellites in helping military forces around the world. That is quite the amazing sight uh, here. This is creating uh, quite the visual, spectacularly a visual, the, 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 the plume of smoke around this Atlas V rocket this morning, e Beth. So uh, uh, pretty amazing here. Uh, in person, hopefully it was pretty cool to see on uh, TV, Beth. Visually spectacular. I love that. Thanks so much. News 13's Jerry Hume giving you live coverage of this launch. Let's pause now and give you a quick look at your weather on the ones. Your accurate weather experts forecast with Storm Tracker 13. Good morning. It's now 21 minutes past the hour on this Wednesday. When you step out the door this morning, we should be in for a beautiful sunrise. Of course, we want to get your cameras and phones ready to share those pictures with us. And thank you to everyone who is always sending sunrise pictures like Krista Hathaway Stout. She was out at the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge yesterday and captured this picture. But I want to see your pictures of today. Post them on our app, News 13 Plus. Very easy to download if you haven't done it already. So there in Brevard County and elsewhere along the coast, a couple of thunderstorms to dodge this afternoon, but overall decent boating conditions, especially for the